Ukraine still cannot carry out deep strikes on Russian territory with Western missiles due to a mistake by the new British Prime Minister Keir Starmer. At least this concerns the Storm Shadow missiles, writes the British publication The Telegraph. The author of the publication, Con Coughlin, notes that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky failed to lift restrictions on the use of Western missiles against Russia during his September visit to the United States. However, the very need to beg Joe Biden for such permission, according to Coughlin, is a consequence of the incompetence of the new British Prime Minister, Keir Starmer. The journalist recalled that Ukraine had received storm shadow missiles from the previous British government. At that time, the British allowed these missiles to be used against Crimea, allegedly without asking permission from the US. Despite the British missile systems relying on US tracking and guidance systems, Conservative ministers merely informed the US about the use of the missiles rather than asking Washington's permission to carry out the strikes. Coughlin writes, The new British Prime Minister Keir Starmer, who came to power this summer, although he took a course towards further support for Ukraine, turned out to be clumsy in the role of the head of state. The journalist believes Ukraine has probably become a victim of Starmer's political inexperience in the issue of missile restrictions. As Prime Minister, he set a new precedent by first asking the Americans for permission to use the weapons system, thereby allowing Washington to veto their use if it did not meet the Biden administration's political goals. As a result, the Ukrainians now have a stockpile of storm shadow weapons but cannot use them. The journalist writes, as reported, deep strikes on Russian territory are the central point of the victory plan that President Volodymyr Zelensky took to the United States in September. Since it was not possible to lift restrictions on the use of Western weapons, Kiev will continue to insist, observers believe. According to military experts, if restrictions on deep strikes against the Russian Federation are lifted, then right now more than 300 Russian military facilities could become potential targets. A rocket fired from Lebanon struck a vehicle repair shop in the northern Israeli town of Kiryat Shmona on Friday, heavily damaging the building, equipment and cars near the site. No injuries were reported by authorities. Israeli military said that the militant group Hezbollah fired at least 22 rockets from Lebanon. Israel launched a ground incursion into Lebanon on Tuesday and its forces have been clashing with Hezbollah militants in a narrow strip along the border. A series of attacks before the incursion killed some of the group's key members, including longtime leader Hassan Nasrallah. Hezbollah and Israel have traded near-daily strikes since the Israel-Hamas war started after the Gaza-based Palestinian militant group stormed into Israel almost a year ago on October 7, sparking fears of regional war. Satellite images of an aircraft hangar at a key Israeli military air base taken after a massive barrage of Iranian missiles appear to show a large hole in the roof. Images of the Nevedim air base in southern Israel on Wednesday show the damage to the roof in a row of buildings near the main runway. Large pieces of debris can be seen spread around the building. It was not clear what caused the damage. Israel's military did not immediately respond to a request for comment about the satellite images. Nevedim is home to the Israeli Air Force's most advanced aircraft, including US-produced F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets. It is not clear from the satellite imagery whether any aircraft were in the hangar when it was struck. 
Nevadim also sustained light damage during an Iranian missile and drone attack in April. A series of massive blasts rocked Beirut's southern suburbs late Thursday night and into Friday morning, shaking buildings kilometers away in the capital. Lebanon's state-run National News Agency reported more than 10 consecutive airstrikes in the area. It was not immediately clear what was targeted or if there were casualties. The strikes came amid an ongoing escalation in the year-long conflict between Israel and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah.